what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and we just gonna go ahead and jump right into it a couple of trucking companies out of illinois as well as a truck driving school out of the pacific northwest what's going on i will tell you they're both filing bankruptcy both of them the two trucking companies that is filing for bankruptcy are owned by the same guy with assets in the millions but with liability in the 10 millions. That's crazy. Let's head over to Illinois, where two trucking companies that's owned by the same guy is filing bankruptcy. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. Patriot Transport and Expediter Systems both have filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. Both companies are aimed to reorganize up under the current leadership of Igor Teleski. Igor Teleski is listed as the president of both Patriot Transport and Expediters Systems, which is out of Burr Ridge, Illinois, as well as Carroll Stream, Illinois. He filed chapter 11 petitions separately. He gives no reason as to why the companies filed for bankruptcy, but he's looking to reorganize both trucking companies. Patriot Transport assets are between 1 million and 10 million, while their liabilities are between 10 million and 50 million, with their top creditors being the IRS, Resco, and ProLogix. All three of their creditors are in excess of $1,916,000. Their fleet consists of 35 power units and 35 drivers. But is that true though? Do they honestly have about 35 drivers there? And drivers, if you are still with this company after they just filed bankruptcy, how did you find out that they filed bankruptcy and are you still driving for them did you get a qualcomm message did you get a text message let us know if you have driven for this company and let us know your experience is he filing bankruptcy to reorganize everything while still having you guys on the payroll or are you guys affected by the bankruptcy and being told that we'll pay you later type deal they've been inspected 10 times with about a 30 percent out of service rate for patriot transport patriot transport of course was founded in 2006 they have been inspected 10 times and out of the 10 times they've been out of service three within the 24 month period Let's see what's up with Expediter Systems, which is owned by the same guy, Igor Terlisky. Amongst the company's top creditors, which is RTS Financial Services, Chase out of Wilmington, Wilmington, Delaware, and the IRS out of Philadelphia. Expediter Systems, Expediter Systems, with about $379,000 old. Expediter Systems fleet initially has 100 power units and drivers, but they recently reduced the power units to about 50 and the drivers to about 55. They have been inspected 70 times, and out of the 70 times, there has been 16 out of services. Both companies up under Igor Teleski. Teleski. They said they have faced operational challenges leading to their current financial struggles. That's crazy. Let's flip over to the Pacific Northwest where Toro Trucking Academy, a CDL training school out of the Pacific Northwest, they have also shut down operations and filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. They're blaming market forces and increasing operational costs. The school ceased operations after over a decade of training truck driver professionals. 10 years. Their assets is between 100 and 500K, 
with liabilities up in the millions. They owe about 125 k to their creditors. Of course, they had 13 power units and 11 drivers at the time of the closures. But check this out. Their revenue with me throughout the last three years. So in 2022, they made $2.3 million. That was their top year revenue rise. 1.7 million in 2023 and 490k in 2024. They say that the academy has ensured all their students complete their training before closing. Is that true? Is that true, students? Let us know if if you was able to get your CDL or at least get get all the necessary training that you need before they close again before we get on up out of here i do appreciate you guys listening but what happened to both companies in illinois well both companies again cited a need to reorganize their debts and operations is that true that just goes to say that somebody mismanaged the money that's what i'm hearing and the Toro Trucking Academy says the Academy blames the forces of evil, including rising fuel prices, increasing regulations and higher personnel costs for its closure. They also said operating a business in the unfriendly states like Virginia, Washington and Oregon added to their challenges. 